guys welcome back to the next episode of the joy of life challenge however this isn't actually going to be a gameplay episode this is going to be something a little bit different to what we normally do um because the family are in a very very big need of a makeover okay everyone's aged up everyone's just looking a little older you know like they should be looking a little older like our sims now um neve and emiliano they're supposed to be like 50 ish um 49 50 ish so i feel like we need to put a little bit more effort into their makeovers because i haven't really updated their makeovers for a long time so i think it's worth doing however you might notice some messages right over here these are from our friends over on twitch which is actually where i stream this series live so if you guys want to come ahead and follow this series at uh, the link is in the description you can come and watch me live on twitch um if you guys want to watch the youtube videos back obviously all the videos go onto this channel however if you guys you know can't watch the whole videos back i get the streams are like two hours long i have all the edited episodes also linked down in the description as well in a playlist so if you guys want to get caught up on the series and watch you know like 30 minute episodes back that is probably easier to catch up so let's go ahead and jump back into gameplay um i kind of forgot to record so <laughs> I, I haven't really started her makeover. I just kind of like, like, you know, took the makeup off of her. I made her lips a little bit smaller just so that she would look a bit um, younger. We're probably going to, uh, well, we obviously changed her a little bit in the last gameplay episode. I, Charlotte, okay, she had hips for days, guys. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Her hips went on for years, okay? So I shrunk them a bit. <laughs> oh, Brisky. Oh, stop. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear it. I hope it, I hope you managed to download everything as quickly as possible. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much, Brisky. Um, guys, can we get some love in the chat for Brisky with the 12 months as well? Um, yeah, so this is Charlotte. Uh, she aged up in the previous episode. She's now a teenager. Um, she is kind of like our little sassy slightly bratty ish teen we love her okay honestly she's iconic um but she is she's a little bratty i think that's i think that's why i like her the most um but we've gone ahead and made her look a little bit younger now um i actually want to keep the same skin details that i had on her sister sorry that i had on her when she was younger um so oh wow this music's super emotional isn't it guys <laughs> okay so i took some pictures of her while she was a child as you can see here just so that I could copy her CC over just so she looks the same. So this picture here is what she looked like as a kid. Um, so as you can see, she looks a little bit different. Her hair's a bit darker. She had a hair like overlay on. Um, and obviously she had freckles and everything. So we're just going to match her up to what she looked like here. So she has these Naomi freckles. And she has one, two, three, four, five, six. She has six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, she has six down. Second to the right. Um, so if we just match those up, we will give her the same ones. Okay, Naomi freckles, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, these are the freckles that she had when she was a, a kid, so I'm gonna match them. <gasps> Sarah, oh my God. Oh, you just started talking to someone. It's going amazing, wish me luck. Best of luck, best of luck. I hope everything goes well for you. Um. Okay, so what was the other skin details that we had for her? Um, next ones were um, a nose shader. So let's match that up too. She had a nose shader on. I think I might do the nose shader here. Can I do the nose shader and the... Damn, I can't use it in here. She needs this hairline on. Um, I think we might use a nose shader here. Yeah, okay, that's good. Um, her eyes are different. I don't think so. Oh, the contacts that she had on were slightly different. Um, but I'm not giving her contacts. I'm going to give her her default eyes now. It's just because I didn't have them as defaults back when she was a kid. Um, all right. Nose bridge. Uh, she has a nose bridge on by Obscurus. Let's match that one up too. Nose bridge. Um, this one. And she had this one on. There we go. She's looking a little bit like the uh, Charlotte that we knew. <laughs> She's giving Stranger Things Max vibes. Wait, I can actually see that. No, I definitely can see that from her too. <laughs> um, all right. Was that the only skin details that she had on? Yeah. And the next ones are her brother. So that is that is it. 
So these are the skin details that we're most likely going to keep on her for now. Um, but let's see what we can, let's see what we can do here. Um, mm -mm. Okay. So I don't know if I want to give her a skin. Um, the only reason being is because she is um, still young. And I'm thinking, oh, well, actually, I was going to say, never mind. I might give her a skin. <laughs> I was thinking to keep her looking younger, maybe we don't give her a skin. But I kind of like these ones. I think we need to use a slightly lighter one. Oh, I kind of like these. Oh, the third one looks good. I want to keep this one because I feel like she looks younger with it. I feel like I should leave her with... Should I leave her without? See, the issue is... I don't want her to look too old. She's supposed to be... 14. Like, she's literally just aged up to a teenager. So she's supposed to be, like, the youngest that my teenagers are, which is 14. She's not looking, like, 14 years old, is she? <laughs> I think maybe we leave it. Um, I am going to give her some eyelashes. I think to keep her looking, like, younger, we'll go with slightly shorter eyelashes. I feel like that always helps to keep Sims looking a bit younger. So we'll go slightly shorter eyelashes. She does look young. Yeah, I think she lo looks young now because she didn't have a skin on. But when I give her a skin, she like instantly looks older. You know what I mean? Like now I feel like she's looking, she's looking more like 20. So I think we, we don't give her the skin. <laughs> um... Yeah, no skin then. Do you think it would be a big jump when she gets older to change her to this skin? Hopefully it won't be like too big of a jump because I, I want her to look the same as she gets older. But then also I don't want her to like look completely different. Does that make sense? Oh, oh, actually, I might go with that one. Guys, what do we think? What do we think of that one? That, this is the same skin that her mum had. I actually think she looks young with this skin. So I think this one works. Yeah, and the hairstyle, I think, is helping her look younger, too. I am going to keep her with... Oh, she looks so cute. She looks so cute. Guys, I literally cannot. Please. Please, she looks so sweet. Oh, my God, I love this. All right, we're going to give her some, some blush to help with the whole sort of young baby look. Yeah, her hair was curly. However, I don't mind her having hairstyles where her hair is straight because I think that she could have straightened it. So it's like, I don't mind. Obviously her natural hair is curlier than this actually. Her natural hair was more like this sort of texture. But I don't mind her having straight hair too. But she also looks really cute with this hair. Look how freaking cute she looks. <sighs> she looks a lot like Neve. Should we do a little comparison between her and Neve? So this is what Neve looked like, um, or Neve looks like now. Obviously, she is like now 50. She's just turned 50. So this is what Neve is looking like here. She's got like a very um, mixed balance between her mum and her dad, I think. <laughs> she might look like an angel, but she is a brat. <laughs> I don't know what hair to go for on her though. I We need to keep it, well, I say that we need to keep the curls. This is actually the exact hair that she had on as a kid, but we didn't really have that many options when she was a kid. So I don't mind changing it. That one's cute actually. Maybe that when she gets a bit older though. I think you should keep it curly. I, um, I think I want to give her a few different hairstyles. Like I'll give her some that are curly, but I don't mind giving her some that are straight too. Like I think we could mix in both. Um, hmm, we've got something like that. It's not really the curliness that we were going for. And these are like just sort of wavy. Oh, you can click the option curly. How is it that I keep forgetting that? Wait, I think it's wavy. I think the only option that we get is wavy. Would this be enough? Yeah, see that is sort of similar to what she had. That's kind of similar too. She did have like fairly tight curls. Um, this is more wavy. <gasps> guys, I literally can I just can I just tell you guys about how much I love her? Am I just gonna continuously keep going on about it? I might. 
I might just keep going on. Oh, also her hair was slightly darker. She had this colored hair. So I'm just going to give her the, the overlay that changes her hair to be less bright. This is her natural hair color though. A mix of both would be good for her. I don't mind her like straightening her hair, you know? Um, hmm. Okay, no, these are way too like sweet for her. She's not that sweet. Sorry, baby, but we know. We know who you are. <laughs> Since she's a teenager, I think she would like to do her hair. Yeah, I don't really mind giving her different hairstyles. Um, so yeah, I, I could see her like doing her hair and styling it. So I don't mind it like doing a few straight hairstyles, doing some long, I don't know. What is this hair overlay magic? This is by Triku Family. And it's basically a hair overlay that works on any Maxis Match hair where you can apply the overlay on top of like the color that you already select. Um, and you can basically customize Maxis Match colors. It is so good because specifically this colored hair, it's like orange, but it's unnatural orange. It's almost as if someone's dyed it. So I much prefer being able to add this overlay where it's more like a natural red. Um, Cause it is like super bright and most people naturally don't have that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of having issues because she suits every hair. So it's, um, it's a struggle. Like, <laughs> um, how the hell am I supposed to choose a hair when you suit every single freaking hair? What am I supposed to do? Um, I thought she was going to be her dad's twin. When she was growing up, she definitely looked like it, but I think she changed. <laughs> Um, oh, we do have, the braids are kind of cute. These ones aren't really curly enough though. This one would work. That one would be okay. Hmm. She's giving it girl. So far, that's exactly how she's been, especially in school. These are such nice hairs as well. Oh, look at the curls. Stop me now. <gasps> Loralia, hi. Aw. Oh, I'm happy to have you here. How have you been? Thank you so much for the eight months as well, sweetie. How have you been doing? I hope you've been okay. Braids could work for, yes, actually. I like the idea of the braids for the workout outfit. I am just trying to figure out what to do for her. Ooh. Okay, I don't mind this one. What do you guys think? This one's not curly, like not her natural curls, but this is like as if she's curled it, which I think is fine. Um, and it also helps with making her look young. No? Yes, no. Just, maybe I get rid of wavy and then we just, yeah, I think it might be easier because I think I feel like it's, like not giving us many options to be honest. Um, hmm. It kind of looks like fake curls, yeah. See this one works, but you see what I mean by the hair overlay isn't working on this one. Um, hold on, let me take it off. I like her with, I prefer the hair overlay on her. It's okay, but let's keep looking. Um, that one's cute. Do you prefer Maxis or Alpha? Definitely for hairs, Maxis 100%. Um, it makes it so that your Sims match the rest of the Sims, like your townies. Uh, I always struggled with the idea of my Sims standing out too much in comparison to townies. They always kind of looked like a bit strange. However, for clothes, I'm all the way Alpha too. Um, but I mix and match both of them. But I just like my Sims to match the rest of the townies, you know? Love this one. Oh, okay, we love this one. So this one gets to stay. Yeah, do we think? Also, for now, since she's 14, I'm not gonna give her any makeover. Um, sorry, any makeover? I'm not gonna give her any makeup. She can get makeup as she gets older. Like, I don't mind that. But I think to keep her looking younger and to help with, like, you know, keeping her looking younger, I think we don't, um, yeah, I think we don't give her makeup. I think it helps, you know, like with make with keeping her looking young. So, yeah, I don't mind, like, lip gloss and stuff, um, but just, yeah, just um, for, like, no eyeliner. I'm not going to give her, um, you know, cheek, because for me, when I give my Sims this, 
it to me it looks like they have makeup on like foundation which is lovely but i feel like she wouldn't be wearing foundation so yeah i think we keep her looking kind of natural i don't mind a little bit of lip gloss you know but uh Hi, do we mean? I've been so busy with uni. Oh, honestly, uni is uni is an absolute stress. I feel that. Um, but I hope everything's good. <laughs> um, what sort of style does she have? We don't really know her style. All we know right now is for sure that she's high spirited and she's jealous and she wants to be a drama llama, which means she wants to be part of the drama all the time. She dislikes high energy Sims. That is interesting, actually. Okay, wait, I've got an idea. Does she dislike high energy Sims because she's always high energy? So like she wants to be the only high energy like person in the group. Maybe that maybe that is something. Maybe maybe because she's jealous and she is popular, yeah. The game did make her popular. Um she has what is her likes? She likes fitness, so she she runs quite a lot. She used to go swimming and things. She likes emotional decision makers, which means she likes other Sims who are hot-headed, jealous, or non-committal. She is a walking red flag, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. She's the, the, the ripe age of 14 and she's already a walking red flag. Like, <laughs> she likes rascals. She likes goofballs, kleptomaniacs, or mean Sims. She is gonna go for so many toxic boys. Well, I say boys. We don't actually know what her sexuality is yet. It should have randomized it. I've got a mod that randomizes their sexuality. So I don't know. Like, but she's going to go for, she's going to go for the toxic Sims. Let's just go for Sims. But she does like spirited Sims, which means she likes outgoing, bro, or good. Um, so she likes outgoing people who are normally getting into trouble. Um, and like funny sort of people. I feel like she would be interested in like the class clown or something. <laughs> Miss girl going to play the whole football team. Yes, 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 she is. Okay, so according to that, what do you guys think her style would be in terms of um in terms of outfits? What are we what are we feeling for her? Um it needs to be age appropriate. So I'm definitely gonna not go crazy with it, um, because we want her to look young, young teenager. She's like uh what do you guys call it when they're a young teenager? Is it freshman? Is that what it's called? I don't know. Uh is that what it's called? I don't know. I don't know what you Americans call it. <laughs> like preppy mean girls. <laughs> yeah, she does kind of give mean girl energy though, doesn't she? <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, what can we do with this? Oh, it is a freshman. No, I was thinking like, you know, when you guys start high school, what is the level when you first join? Um... When you guys start high school, what it, like what um what age is it when you start at 14? Is it freshman? It is a freshman. Okay, so she's a freshman right now. <laughs> I didn't know whether that just applied to you guys for colleges or how that works. Um okay, so we're going for preppy. Hmm. I don't know what outfit to give her. We're going for like Regina George. It's a bit young for that though. <laughs> that might not help with like making her look younger. Wait. Wait. Hold on a second. Hold on. Why is this so cute? No, wait. Actually, what are her favorite colors? She doesn't have any favorite colors yet. Um, what did she wear a lot as a kid? I'm not sure. Does anyone remember what colors she wore as a kid? I don't think that she wore any particular colors. The green, yeah, I was kind of feeling the green, honestly, but I don't know which one, the sage or the dark? Maybe the dark. Okay, so this one was a Jolie Bean outfit. Let's see if we can find the matching bottoms. Uh, this one. <laughs> wait, was it this one or was it this one? I think it might've been this one. Oh wait, I like this one too though. This one's better maybe because it's high waist. What do we think? <laughs> I feel like in a way, Neve and Emiliano would disapprove of, uh, would disapprove of what? Tights for sure. Poison Ivy vibes. I feel like this is great, but definitely for when she's older. Um, 
I think this might be a little too much for her being 14. Also, I don't want her to go in. Like, I, I get that she's popular and I get that she has confidence and she's jealous. But I kind of want her to develop her confidence over time. Um, You know, she's also 14, you know. So <laughs> I feel like we should do a little bit less. I don't mind the whole preppy style. But I think preppy but young. Do you guys get what I mean? Like something like that could work. Is that preppy? Not maybe not really. Not really. Really like the top, maybe jeans with it. Ooh, okay, that's a shout actually. Why don't we try that? So we can go with this top and we can keep it in the green, but let's pair it with high waist jeans. And then we'll see if that sort of works a little bit better for our age. Okay, this is a little bit of a look. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. <laughs> Why does it? <laughs> Wait, if you filter by preppy, it does CC. There's no way that you can filter by preppy. How is it that I play... Guys, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I... I play this game for a living. And I don't even know this stuff. This is so embarrassing when I actually get schooled on the game that I play as a profession, I'm embarrassed. I'm actually embarrassed. Who, like, who am I? Who, who, how dare I have the audacity to come out here and say I'm a professional Sims player? Who do I think I am? I'm disgusted with myself. <laughs> I didn't know this either. It's honestly shocking when people in, people in chat are like educating me. It's wild. Um. I'm not feel I'm not feeling these. I don't know if uh, CC creators don't tag their CC correctly, but this is not giving me preppy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not I'm not feeling any preppiness here. Is anyone else feeling preppy? And these are all a little, a little too old for her. I think it's that the CC creators didn't tag their CC correctly. Yeah, it's not always completely accurate. Damn it. See, if I had the effort, I would go through and tag all my CC. But I don't. <laughs> so it's never going to happen. Um, Guys, I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like she looks too old. I feel like she looks a little too old. Maybe. I feel like the preppy could work with age. But it's maybe it's a bit too much for while she's this young. You know? Like, I just think... I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. Kids these days all wear wide leg jeans. Honestly, these kids are styling. Like, what the hell? <laughs> A different top that's longer, maybe. Yeah, I think it might be that the top cuts off so short. So there's like so much belly hanging out. Um, I didn't mind the jeans that we were doing before. Like even these, these are cute, you know? But like when she gets older, not yet. She's supposed to be 14. Like we're, we're really not helping this. <laughs> when I was 14, I looked like a potato. See, I feel like 14 year olds now. Okay, what about this? I like this. Can we get it in green? I like that. That is cute. Guys, what do we think about that? This could work. We could pair this with something. Okay, that waist is giving like unrealistic expectations. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. <laughs> um, she's supposed to be 14, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this top could work, but we've got to, I, did we pull her hair back? We might pull her hair back for this outfit. If we got one that, Oh, I wish that one worked with the hair overlay. You see what I mean? Like this hair overlay is great, but sometimes it doesn't work on every hair. The waist is non-existent. It's just giving, it's giving realism for sure. <laughs> um, hmm. Is there no sort of curly hairs that go back? Oh, that is such nice hair on her too. Yeah, the one with the headband was cute, but it was straight. And I'm trying to keep her curls. Um. Okay, why are these like so cute though? I'm like, these are so cute. That one's cute too. 
That one's cute. Every single one of them is so cute. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I agree. But people said that they wanted to see her with um, curly hair as her everyday outfit. So we're trying to stick to that. Um, oh, that one's cute too. She does look good with short hair, but it makes her look older. So we're going to keep it long for now. That one works. Guys. That one works. That one's a good length too. Hi, Clementine. I just finished watching the last episode. Welcome in. How are you doing? Yes, this one. Okay, good. Right, this one can stay. Um, all right, let's pair this with a pair of jeans. I want to do... Um, you guys said that teenagers are all wearing wide-legged jeans. Um, honestly, these kids are out here like with so much style. Um, so I wouldn't understand what that is like. <laughs> Maybe her grandparents get her horse riding lessons. Oh my God. Why can I not imagine? Okay, I definitely can imagine Emiliano's family with their like rich ass money, you know, coming out and like getting her into horse riding lessons. <laughs> yes. Do you have a feet default? I do. Um, I cover a lot of my CCM mods. I cover them all in my most recent cast video, if you want to check them out. Should be such a horse girl. Um, oh, that one's nice. Um, these are nice too. Hmm, I don't know which ones to go for. We're looking for wide leg. She has a personal trainer to teach her. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, these ones are nice. Oh my God, not the Louis Vuitton belt though. <laughs> that one's cute. Um, okay, I kind of like this. But would a 14 year old really be wearing this? Okay, this is kind of cool though. Super baggy. These ones are baggy too. <laughs> Wait, really? Do 14 year olds wear this stuff now? Do they really? Honestly, why are the 14 year olds like so cool now? <laughs> we were so uncool, honestly, guys. Like at 14 years old, none of us were this stylish. Not a soul. Not a soul. Yeah, it's honestly scary. It's terrifying. Um, Okay, let's pair this with a pair of do we go with trainers do we go with the classic feeler trainers i'm pretty sure they're feeler i reckon some funky shoes <laughs> so uncool it actually hurts yeah honestly if anyone saw pictures of us at 14 i'm pretty sure i have a picture of me um like bending over with my dad like playing xbox or something we're both like <laughs> i swear i hadn't showered in like four days i was like oh it was bad guys it was bad and no one should ever ever see that photo <laughs> why is her neck so thin you know what her neck is awfully thin um i did not even notice that i'm glad you picked up on that um, we should definitely go and give her a wider neck. <laughs> I think it might be that her jaw is so big. Um, like it, her jaw is so wide. I think that's why. Let me just pull her hair up a second. And then I need to grab her neck from the back and expand it. It needs to be expanded a bit more. Don't be scared, Lauren. Show us. No one needs to see it, guys. No one. No one needs to see it, okay? Trust me, I'm doing you all a favor by not letting you see it. <laughs> oh my God, my 14 year old cousin wears corset tops. It is wild what is going on now, guys. It is absolutely wild. It's terrifying. Those are really cool trousers. I, d okay, is it just me or do, I, do you not get the whole, I feel like these trousers are not matching this top. Ooh. That works better, but I don't like the fact that her arm is stuck to her body. 
Yeah, I wasn't feeling the outfit. Could you tell? <laughs> yeah, these are way better, but the arm stuck to the body is like, ugh, it's grating on me. Maybe a little skinnier for the jeans. Hmm. Let's go with, these are like leggings. That's not gonna work. It really should not take this long, guys. <laughs> it should not. I really like these, but they are, oh, she looks so old, guys. <laughs> I need her to look younger. I need her to look younger. Maybe we just go with a full body outfit. Maybe we just go with a little dress. We can't go wrong with a dress, right, guys? <laughs> Mrs. Dupe. Exactly. I think it needs the matching bottoms. I agree. So that's why I've resorted to a, a dress. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for the three months as well. Um. Hmm. Okay. No, not for her age. That's not going to work. That's not going to work either. This is giving, this is giving euphoria that I'm realistic that no one can actually wear that to school. <laughs> Wait. This could be cute. Okay, this could be, this could be kind of cute. Guys, what do we think? We could get it in a different color as well. Oh, the blue's nice on her, the green. A bit too old, don't you think? I guess it is just a blouse and some, a skirt though. Maybe, oh, what about this one? Okay, I love this one. This one is really cute. <laughs> With the hearts. Did any of these ones have hearts? I don't think so. I think you must have been talking about the other one. That is how 14, to be honest, I feel like I'm so out of the times um, that I just don't get to. <gasps> that is cute too. Okay, these are, these are where it's at guys. This is it. This is them. Wait, what about this one? <gasps> Wait, wait a second. Okay, what about this? Do we pair it with socks? Maybe we pair it with long socks. Is this doing it? Is anybody else getting that feeling? I feel like this could work. I feel like we pair it with some socks. They're giving, it's giving tennis go. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. Um. Have we got long enough socks? Scrunched up socks. Yeah, I'm trying to find them. Um, I mean, these ones are okay. They're not really as scrunched up as I would like. Tights, not, not, okay, hold on. Let's go with tights. Do we go with skin colored tights or what are we thinking? Do we go with the black? Do we just go with the brown? What preset are you using? Do you mean um do you mean reshape preset? Skin colored? Alright, let's just use the in-game ones then. Um Where are the ones I'm looking for? Uh I literally cannot find anything. You know when you get to the point where you have so much CC installed that you just don't even know where the non-CC items are. <laughs> like, I just scroll straight past them. I can't even find them. Where are they? Am I just being blind? You guys know the ones that I'm talking about, right? Maybe we go for something like this. Okay, oh, maybe these work. Maybe those. Maybe those. Guys, what do you think? I think that works. More skin colored. We passed through Max to Cheryl and now Hermione. <laughs> yes, with low socks. Okay, this with low socks. Um, We do them in white. And then give her some shoes because obviously her feet kind of look a little bit weird. Hi, Kate Bug. Sorry I'm late. I had my Sims have triplets over the weekend. On a real note, my two cats have a, um, a vet appointment and my older one has a lump on her neck. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, sweet. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. Hopefully um, hopefully everything's good. I wish you the best of luck. 
you'll have to let us know how you get on as well oh chunky loafers we do have something like these shoes okay why do i kind of like those though oh why do i kind of why do i kind of like these shoes i don't know why but i do kind of like them and then we pair these with some little white shoes does anyone like these i don't know why i think they look so cute Yeah, it works. Okay, good. Right, so do we keep this? We only gave her this hair earlier just because we wanted it to go with the shirt that she was wearing. But I'm thinking maybe we... Okay, I really like this hair though. Wait, hold on. What did her hair look like before? It was slightly looser than this though, the curls. I guess she could have crimped it to look like this. It is an option. However, she could she could have tech you know like added more texture to it because her hair was like this naturally, like fairly tightish curls, not that much. Too curly, you think? I mean, this one is probably more what she would have had before, or like this, yeah, like more like that. <laughs> yeah, with a headband. Uh oh, these look so cute. Oh my god. Oh guys, I'm struggling here. She looks too freaking cute in every single hair. How the hell am I supposed to pick? How the hell am I supposed to pick? This is cute too. The one with the waves, I've used that on too many sims. Um, I love this hair, but I've had so many Sims use this hair because, okay, I do the same thing. I love this creator. Sims Troubles hairs are amazing. So I give them to every Sim and I feel like I've overused them. <laughs> like, I feel like I need to change it up, you know, and do some different hairs. Um, That one's cute. I like this one. Guys. Oh, I like that with the hair back. What do you think? She looks like her mom. Yeah, she does. This one's good. Yeah, let's go with this one. Okay, good, 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 good. Right, we're settled on this hair. Um, do we go with a hat? I feel like I never give my Sims hats. We could go with a baseball cap. Um, or we could do clips. Yeah, we could do clips in it. She's not giving Mean Girl though. I don't mind her not being a Mean Girl to start because her style is going to um, evolve as she gets older. Bear in mind, she's just starting high school right now. Um, I feel like... I feel like she needs to grow into being the Mean Girl, you know? I feel like she doesn't get to just be the Mean Girl straight away. She'll get to be the Mean Girl eventually. But she's got to wake her way up to that status. Can you change the shirt to green? Yeah, hold on. Um... Do we go with the sort of greeny blue? Yeah, maybe. Oh wait, actually, should we try all the colors? Oh, that one's nice too. Oh, okay. Which one am I supposed to pick? Damn it. Oh, I like that one too. <laughs> Guys, how am I supposed to pick a color? Damn it. Maybe I just go with the bright green. The green with the gray. That one. The lighter green. Okay, the green with the grey can stay. Um, Astro Suns with the follow and me Harry with the follow. Join the club, baby. <laughs> oh, we do have this one too. Uh, but I think I think she suits this outfit more. Yeah, okay, let's stick with this. What was her colour like as a kid? Like what did she wear? She didn't really have any specific colours. That's why we're kind of having issues deciding for her. Because there wasn't a specific colour that she would wear. Um Otherwise, it would have made this way easier. Um, I was thinking about giving her earrings, but you can't see them. Oh, excuse me. You can't see them anyways. We'll just go with the light green. We'll just keep it at this color. I, I like this one too. I think it's fine. Um, okay, bracelet, rings. Maybe no rings right now. 
No rings right now. Fingernails. Um, I kind of want to take her to the spa and get her nails done. So I'm going to go for no on the nails. Um, but we can get her nails done. She is a red flag. We have to camouflage that with some green. <laughs> yeah, we do. We do. Oh, I like that outfit too. Way, I really like this outfit. Okay, I kind of, I think I want to give her that as a second outfit. What about this one? <gasps> I like that one too. Okay, guys, I've got the, honestly, rimmings is like the entirety of what I imagined for her style. This is going to be good. All right, hold on. So I just want to copy over all of her. Wait, would she look the same? Yeah, hold on. Let me copy over all of her skin details and everything just so that she looks the same across all of her outfits. Let's do that. Lauren, I just had an idea. Maybe she gets a heartbroken in high school and that's her villain origin story. Wait, what do we mean villain origin story? How is this, how is this coming down? <laughs> how are we thinking? <laughs> um, where is she? There she is. Oh my God, she's naked. Girl, girl. Um, dresser. Here we go. Copy her hair and her accessories over to all of her other outfits. She'd be a brat though. Wait, should we see what the game gave her? Um. Okay, so according to according to the what the uh, LGBTQ mod gave her, she's straight. <laughs> it made her straight. She's allosexual, she's cisgender, she identifies as female, and she's romantically and sexually attracted to masculine sims. So she's a she's a straight girly. What's Reese? When we do Reese's makeover, I'll jump back to him and check. You know, so <laughs> when I look at Reese, I realize the work still needs to be done. We won't forget Reese. Don't worry, we won't. Okay, so second outfit I think I wanted to give her was uh, this one. I don't know why, but I really like this one on her. So we're going to give her this one. Hi, Emily. Um, Lauren, did the new update break your custom food mods? It did break a few of them. Um, a lot of the cookbook mods, they all survived, but any mods that like actually overhauled cooking in The Sims, so Seriously's cooking overhaul mod or SNS's cooking mod, those ones, uh, they didn't make it. Hey, they didn't quite make it through. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm thinking for this this outfit, we can straighten her hair. What do you guys think? <gasps> oh, I like that one too. Okay, I do really want her to have an outfit with that hair with it, with the with the headband. It's giving mean girl. <laughs> so like custom recipes were fine. So any custom recipes that link to a cookbook, those are all fine. Any custom recipes that come with like a cooking overhaul mod, those are broke. Um, because they're not really working correctly. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Wait, can we get away with giving her a full fringe? Or is it weird for her to go from having no full fringe to a full fringe? It might be a little strange. I really like this hair though. <gasps> I really like this hair. I feel like this is such a little, okay, maybe when she gets older, we can give her a fringe. It's a bit strange, isn't it? To go from like no fringe to a fringe. Um. Ooh, I like this hair. Hold on, this hair actually comes with a clip. Yeah, I was thinking of a clip-in fringe, but that might be trying a little bit too hard. Um, okay, so this is a, a hoob um, set. So they should have all the accessories together. A hoob. Um, I think this is the accessories that come with this outfit. Do we go with these in green? This might be cute. <laughs> Yeah, I really like this hair too. But I don't know what to pair it with. Do I go with this one with this outfit? Oh my god. Guys. I literally love her so much already. How is this possible? Oh, do I go with the purple one? Like, how freaking cute does she look? Oh my god. It looks so cute. Who's this by? What, the hair or the clothes? Which one are you talking about? Um, if you're talking about the clothes, the clothes are by Rimmings. If you're talking about the hair, it's by... 
A. Hoob, who's also A. Harris. Oh, Brittany. Thank you for Demon for posting that. I was trying to think. I know it was like Brittany something. <laughs> um, what traits did you guys um, give the new twins? So um, Charlotte is, she got, she gained the jealous trait. So she's high spirited and she's jealous. And Reese, by the way, jump scare. Just wait. He hasn't had his makeover yet. He's unflirty and, abs and open minded. So he's kind of creative, but he's also struggling in the romance department. All right, let's go with, let's go with this one. She's gone for the green and the blue, which I actually kind of like is a bit different to what she normally wears. So then we compare that with the, ooh, do we go with sort of, ooh, okay, maybe that. Yeah, okay, that works. Ignore Reese, okay? No, no, we're not going back to abusing Reese, okay? Give him a chance, guys. He hasn't blossomed yet. He hasn't had the plastic surgery. You can't judge him yet, okay? Just give the damn boy a minute, okay? <laughs> also, I'm gonna give her a little bit of lip gloss for this outfit too. She looks so good, guys. I literally love Charlotte so much. Like, she looks so cute. Isn't that shirt short for a 14 year old? It is, which is why we've given her um, tights with him. Um, we feel like that's a good compromise. <laughs> Also, it's kind of difficult to dress 14 year olds in this game. It just, it's just difficult. Okay. <laughs> let Laura cook. <laughs> Don't let me cook. <laughs> True, but we should put some shorts under. Oh, wait, I might actually have C like CC shorts that I could put underneath it. Let me just check. Um, No. I might actually have some. No, 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 no. Um, these? I mean, technically there are shorts underneath there. What do you guys think? Some Christian Dior like shorts? Should I give her those just so we know she's wearing shorts? What do you guys think? We can pretend she has them on. I mean, she actually does have them on. <laughs> there. Right, she has shorts on guys. I've given her shorts, okay. <laughs> Hi, Talia. Welcome in, sweetie. How are you? Right, so this is her formal wear outfit, which is very important because not only will it be her potential prom outfit, which I don't think we're going to do her prom outfit because I have I feel like it might be nice for her and her mum to go out and go shopping for a prom dress. So I think we'll just do this as bougie um, family dinners, you know, like when they have sort of big family events. So we'll just give her a dress that sort of suits the family um, the family dinners. But bear in mind, they do have a lot of rich family. So they do some nice... Wow, she looks so cute. <laughs> they do some really nice fancy dinners um, quite a lot. Um, are they married yet, by the way? They are not. Um, in Sunday's episode, we are planning... Oh, this dress is so cute. Oh my God, guys, I found another dress to give her. What is wrong with me? Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna scroll past it and pretend we didn't see it, okay? I'm just gonna pretend we didn't see it. We'll come back to it though. <laughs> okay. 14 year old. She is going to her parents' grandparents' dinner. What do we dress her in? I'm too short. Definitely too short. Um it needs to be formal-ish, but also appropriate for her age. Um, so we need to go have a good compromise, you know? Uh, Ruby Sapphire and Mossy with the follows. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Welcome in. Oh, that is so cute, but not for what I was imagining. Oh, that one's cute too, but also no. Um, I don't know. Miri with the tier one sub. Thank you so much for the tier one. Welcome in. Guys, you know what to do. Um, Ooh, that one's so cute. I love that so much. That is really pretty. It's an option. It's an option. What other dresses have we got? Have we got... One of these should work. Mm. That is really pretty, actually. That is so nice. Um, Tammy, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Uh, okay, these are all great, but not really for the family dinner type thing. <gasps> Wait. 
What about this one? Guys? Oh my God. Yes. Yes. I love it in the blue. Love it in the blue. Hi, Ayana. Um, I'm literally on my way to class right now, but this is the first time I've been able to make it to a stream. Oh, I hope class goes well though. Make sure that you concentrate on your class. Don't watch the stream, okay? <laughs> um, okay, what about this one? Guys, what do we think? It's a little short, it's okay. We can do the uh, we can do the tights again, like we did for our other outfits. I feel like her parents would be okay with her wearing short skirts as long as she wears tights underneath. Um, and also, oh, that one's cute. With the little bows on it. Maybe we do that one, actually. Guys. With the little bows. I think they're cute. Yeah, I feel like her, her parents would be okay as long as she's wearing, like, you know, tights um, and some uh, shorts underneath. And then... Do we go with like small heels? What color do we go for? See, I almost want to go for the white to match the brooches, but I feel like it might be a bit strange. So maybe we just go with black. I want to keep them quite short because she is like 14. So I think we keep short heels, like kitten sort of heels. Yeah, we could go, oh, flats. Yes, actually, I have got some nice flats installed. Um, We've got some like that, that's cute. We've got some sort of little fancy shoes, some fancy flats. We've got these in the black and the white. White, you can't see the black. I think that's okay though that you can't see them. Um, What's the hair crease that you said you use a lot? The name is Sims Trouble. Oh, maybe these. Like sort of little ballet sort of shoes. I like the first flats. I think we're just gonna leave it at these, these little sort of ballet flats. I think they're fine. In the blue. It might be a little too matchy matchy. I mean, the blue are nice, honestly. <laughs> the blue are nice. However, the like it is, she's probably got black and white shoes. Most people do. I think it's just easy to go with black. I, I like the fact that you can't really see them. Um, but we will give her some accessories to wear with this. I kind of imagine that Neve has some nice jewelry that she's given to her to wear to like family events, you know? So I think we go with some pretty, some pretty jewelry. We could go with this with blue to match. Does it come in like a dark blue? Is that a, is that a look guys or not? <laughs> she's such an adorable sim. She's really cute so far. Um, I'm honestly, I'm loving her so much already. If it's her, it does. It goes with what she's what she's wearing. Yes, okay, it can stay. So we've gone for some pearls. I kind of imagine those from her mom. Um, also, for this hair, at 14, my daughter had pearls. I think it's fine, especially considering her family are like kind of well off. <gasps> she looks so cute with that hair. That is literally like one of the similar hairs that her mum wears as well. I really like this, guys. And then obviously her mum would have given her some matching um, earrings to go with it. So I'm thinking we go with some little matching earrings. Oh, hold on. My boyfriend's calling me. I think he wants to get in. Hold on, guys. Give me one sec.
Hello, I'm back. Okay, let's play. Right, so I'm trying to find some cute little pearls to match the necklace that she's got. They definitely need to be smaller. Sorry guys, I need to go let my boyfriend in. Hi, Caitlin, welcome in, how are you? I feel like her grandma is styling her. <laughs> Honestly, grandma getting in there. I, I could see it, I really could. <laughs> Oh, these are cute. Oh, but that's got like a little extra earring. So maybe not these ones. I like those ones too. Have we got any small ones? Any small pearls? Didn't some come with like the base game? I swear we got some little pearls with the base game. Yeah, like just these. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Little ones. Um... What's going on with ads? Why are ads going absolutely wild? 11 ads in a row? <laughs> to which is out here wilding, guys. <laughs> Hi, Nori. Welcome in. I only usually get like two or three at most. I think Twitch is going crazy right now. <laughs> I haven't got any ads. No, if, you're, if you guys are subbed on Twitch, you won't get any ads. Oh, I like this hair too. That is a really nice hair. Guys, which hair do I go with? I like this one with the braid at the top too. It's kind of like fancy, but honestly, their family is a little, their family is a little fancy. <laughs> Naomi with the gifted sub. Thank you for being so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Um, guys, can we get some love in the chat for Naomi who just gifted a sub? Absolute sweetie. Um, people were, people were having insufferable Twitch ads. So it's very, very sweet that she gifted a sub. No, 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 I haven't, I haven't finished Reese yet. Don't make any judgments on him, okay? It's, it's not fair. I haven't, I haven't worked on him yet. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to see if there's any sort of hairs that I could add, or sorry, um, you know, like stuff to add in her hair that would do like little, um, <gasps> this hair looks really cute though. This one? Oh, we could, wait, okay, guys, can you make a note of this hair? Look at this hair in this picture. Make a note of it because I think this will be a really cute hair for her to wear as a bridesmaid to her mum's wedding in the next few days. So see this, you know, this thing that I'm hovering over with the butterflies in it? That hair up with her bridesmaid dress on, so good, so good for the wedding, but not for now. But I just wanna make a note of it because I know I'll forget. Um, I literally have no brain, so please remind me. <laughs> All the judgment incoming, please give my boy a chance. <laughs> please, guys. Um, no, I don't think any of these overlays are gonna work with this hair. I was hoping that we'd have like some little flowers or something, but it's fine. It's fine. Right, so for this, um, for this outfit, I'll let her wear a little bit of makeup. Um, I feel like her mom would have, you know, would have let her wear a little, uh, yeah, would have let her worn a little bit of makeup. So I'm just gonna give her a slight, slight little, slight little makeup. Um, like that, that's good, I like that. Yes, Wormy, you got gifted a sub. Yeah, my uh, my mod Naomi, um, T in chat just gifted you the sub. So if you wanna go ahead and say thank you, you're more than welcome to. Um, and then we do this and we just turn them down. Oh, maybe not these ones, hold on. Oh my God, you scared me. What's that? Yeah, please. <laughs> um, hi, lovely Asia. What have I missed so far? We're just in the middle of giving. Oh, ooh, I like this lip gloss. Um, sorry, I'm getting so distracted. Um, we're just in the middle of giving Charlotte a makeover. Um, she's looking really cute so far, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm loving her so much. I really am. I'm. <laughs> There might be a little like bit in me that's a little sad that she's not gonna be our next gen L. I'm not gonna lie. Um, there's a little, there's a little like loneliness in me that that is sad because I know she's not gonna be our next gen. Wait, the lollipop means sub. Yes. Yeah, so in in um in Twitch, if someone's got a sort of a like a picture next to their name, in our case, it's a lollipop. Um, that means that they are a sub. And subs on Twitch, they get ad-free viewing and they also get access to all the emotes as well. So, um, yeah, if you guys ever want to not have to watch Twitch ads, uh, you can sub. However, it does cost money, so don't ever feel inclined to. 
But one thing to remember, if you guys don't use Twitch, you can actually connect Amazon Prime to Twitch. So if you guys pay for Amazon Prime, you get a free sub every month. So if you watch a creator regular on the regular, um, you can use your your Prime sub for them. And also a chance to kill someone. <laughs> don't tell everyone. <laughs> um, hmm. Um, thank you, Angel Wings and Boketto with the follow. Hopefully I didn't butcher that one. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to, um, if I want to give her any extra skin details. Do I give her? No, I'm not going to give her contour until she's older. I think it will help with keeping her looking young. Who is going to be the next gen L? Right now we're leaning towards Ginger. Um... But we don't know yet. We don't know for sure. It's a tie between Graham and Ginger. When they become children, which is over the next few episodes, then we will. Um, yeah, then we will. She gives air vibes and no one's listening. I know. She really is giving air vibes. But uh, being a chef, I don't see it for her right now. So I don't know. Can we see Ginger as a teen too? No, <laughs> no, I don't want to age her off and spoil it. We'll have to wait patiently. That's just what happens here, okay? <laughs> um, okay, this is her hair for athletic wear, which she's actually really into. Um, she's really into fitness, so we're probably going to see this quite often. I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I've already seen her, like... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you all. I've already aged her up. I already know what she looks like. I already know she's air material. <laughs> Sorry, I'm literally spitting all over myself. <laughs> not me. <laughs> Been so excited for you guys to see her. But no, you have to wait. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, of course I have. Uh, guys, I wouldn't let you pick an air that is not appropriate for this challenge, okay? I just wouldn't. I wouldn't allow it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is her athletic wear, but I do have to bear in mind that she is still 14. So I'm thinking, you know, um, yeah, like a hoodie or something. Does your boyfriend play Sims? He does not. He he does not. He has he has played it a few times, you know, like the classic, tried it, but like not really into it themselves. So he has played it, but yeah. Who is prettier? Um it's quite close between them. Charlotte is more of a mix. Ginger is like the spitting image of her mom. So just imagine Neve's face carbon copied, like young again, you know, like when she was younger. That's exactly what Ginger looks like. Um, and R Graham looks, if I remember, exactly like his dad. Um, whereas I feel like Charlotte was a better mix of her mom and her dad. Um, Ginger, she just got all mum. She really did. Um, Safi, thank you for the 13 months with Prime. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's Lauren's world and we're all living in it. Buckle in, baby. <laughs> all right, this is her athletic wear. So if she goes out, what she I imagine she probably is going to go out running and things. So we're going to pair it with... Bear in mind, she also is 14. So we're trying to make that work too. Yeah, like large shorts. Um... These are fine. Oh, those. Those work well. Let's go for those. And then we'll pair this with a pair of... Um, should we give her the same shoes that she wore earlier? The sort of chunky ones? No worries, Megan. Speak to you tomorrow. Love you. Love you too. I hope you sleep well. When did the younger twins age up? I think it's like next week. Yeah, I think it's in a little while. Um, it's not very long until they age up. Give her some colour. Maybe we do the top with colour. Ooh, okay, yeah, you're right about adding a bit of colour here. Um, oh, I don't know. Ooh, that one's kind of cute. Okay, I might just go with the white one, just because I like this little design on it. I don't know why. I just like it. <laughs> so she can- The most colour that she allowed- <laughs> guys look at my look at my color palette i'm literally wearing black and cream like i cannot talk about adding color there's the only colors that i wear <laughs> so 
I think running shoes, actually, yeah. Sh I mean, the family is kind of well off. So I think we give her some running shoes too. Let's go with those ones. Maybe blue shorts. Or maybe we go with mm. oh, the green shorts. No way she's running in platforms. Yeah, we kind of, we changed it now, okay? <laughs> we changed it. I kind of like the green. The green with the white. What do we think, guys? <laughs> Cute. Okay, this one can stay. Sleepwear. Um, you know what? I actually don't mind this top. So this top could stay. We would have to pair it with some nice comfy shorts. But it is an option to stay. Have we not got any sort of like pajama sets? Um, Nutmeg Knox with the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. This is cute, but like not for walking around the house in front of her like, you know, family in. <laughs> um, even at the ripe age of 14, I'm thinking, oh, this. This is what I'm thinking. Um, what color do we go for? She needs her own Let's Play. She's her own spin-off series, you know? Um, oh, I don't know what color to go for, though. Maybe we just go for the pink one. I kind of like the pink. Yeah, the pink one was cute, but people always laugh at me because I <laughs> keep giving all of my Sims pink and everything. So I'm like, okay, I won't give them pink then. And then everyone's like, oh, just go with the pink, though. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to give her... I'm going to be a crazy person. I'm going to give her socks, which I know, like, personally, I would never. I would never. But I'm going to have her sleep in socks. <laughs> Aww. Emery, I love all your sims so much. I love how all of your sims look so much. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so much. She's so perfect. I'm so sad. What a waste. Ah. <sighs> You guys make me want to, like, have her have her own series or something. I don't know. I can't. No, I, I can't. But I want to. <laughs> but I can't. I shouldn't. But I want to. <laughs> Hi, Rain. Welcome in, sweetie. How are you? Um, This is her sleepwear, right? Yeah, maybe we just go for that one and we pin it up like that. Charlotte in the city. Why do I love that? Oh no, don't get me started on this. Do not get me started, please. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> yeah, I feel like maybe we have to do a mini series on her now. <laughs> We're committed. Okay, this is party wear. So this will be for like, um, like you know, sort of formal, uh, no, not formal dances. It'll be for like kids, like parties that she goes to. She could be one of the Sims for your rotational gameplay. I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> I really was. I don't know if you guys were here, but during the previous stream, I was talking to you guys about what I want to do. Um, I've got a lot of plans for... Oh, this is a really cute top. Mm. Sorry. Um, I've got a lot of plans for a new series that I want to start on... Um, Sorry, I'm getting distracted because like, I'm trying, I am I love it, all of this. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, maybe I go with this one. This one's cute too. Damn it, guys. How am I supposed to pick for her? <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't say that. Don't say that. You're actually going to make me worry that the actual air won't, won't match up to her. No, it will be fine. Um, sorry, so I was... I'm in the middle of planning a rotational gameplay series. It's going to be a strictly YouTube series. Um, it'll be like highly edited. Um, but I want to do a rotational gameplay. You know where when you watch a TV show and it swaps between uh, the main character and then one of the side characters and another side character and another side character. So everyone's got their own story. So if at a point in that Sims life that you're playing, you're kind of like a little bit bored, you know, you want to sort of step out and play with someone else. I feel like that's like the perfect opportunity. So yeah, it's kind of the idea that I've got for now. Um, but I'm in the middle of planning it. So <laughs> I think it's going to be fun. 
Um, oh, that is so cute, but not for her age. Not for her age. Um, that is so cute. Guys, can she wear that? Like Ashley plays, similar to it. Yeah, similar. Um, where Ashley does sort of like a different episode. Um, you know, like she does like, I think with Ashley, she normally has like a main sim and then she does like spin off like episodes with each character, which mine would kind of be the same in terms of like, not the back, okay. Um, mine would kind of be the same. However, I feel like it would switch between characters more often. Um, so obviously we'd still have a main character, which the story would follow. And obviously the other characters will also revolve around that main character. But does that, does that make sense? Hopefully it's making sense here. <laughs> um... Okay, uh, guys, I'm really struggling. What do I dress? Should I just go back to Rimmings? You know, I feel like I feel like Rimmings can't hurt me. Rimmings just never misses. You know what I'm saying? Like everything that they do is so good. This is too much for a 14 year old though. <laughs> the Sims would age up too quickly. I'm going to play with aging off. Um, it's gonna be very sort of story based. Yeah, it's kind of the kind of the feelings I'm getting so far. Okay, maybe we go with a Sentate um, outfit. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh, I like this too. Maybe a bit too much for age though. You say rimming, so funny. I say it like rhymings. Oh God, <laughs> I don't know who's right. <laughs> we could both be right though. Can we, can we just both be right? <gasps> Wait, I love this. Guys, what do we think? <gasps> yes. Yes, 1000% yes. Oh my God. Wait, which one do I go for though? I really like this one with the orange. I really like the orange one. Wait, is there like a matching bottoms to match this? Please tell me there is. Laura, hi. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Guys, can we get some love in the chat for Laura, please? Do a skirt with it. Um, was there actually a matching? Hold on. Let me just see the outfit. What did they pair it with? They paired it with like a little black sort of tight skirt. Um, I think they actually might have paired it with this skirt. <gasps> why do I kind of like that? I don't know why I like that. Maybe I go with orange, maybe dark. I don't know why I like this. I love the rotational gameplay idea. If you guys have got any like ideas of what sort of sims you'd want to see, I'm more than welcome to take them. Um, it's just sort of an idea that I had in mind, but I haven't really sort of thought it out yet. So if you've got any suggestions, please let me know. <laughs> um. This feels older to me. I can agree. I think it's the skirt though. Maybe more of a loose skirt would help. Maybe. Or maybe. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, like maybe a shorter skirt could work. All, they, all of them kind of clip though. Hmm. I'm doing rotational with Sims. Maybe you could, uh, with twins, maybe you could do something like that. I kind of don't want the Sims to be related. Oh, I like this. Okay, I kind of like it with the skinny jeans. What do you guys think? This with a little pair of like pink flats to match the pink. Do we go with these? Maybe a different ones. I feel like that's very sort of kiddo, you know, like very, very kids. It's maybe too casual. I think it's fine for party. I think it's fine. Obviously her outfits are gonna change more as she gets older. Hi, Kimberly, welcome in. How are you? Can we have these in a pink? Yeah, a party at 14 probably would be a little bit more casual anyways, wouldn't it? True, true, true. Um, okay, do we pair this with, oh, those are cute. Or do we go with these ones maybe? Oh, I really like those ones too. Guys, does that go or not? Do we go with orange? I kind of like the, the pink. 
Does he? Do these die with the with the bottoms? If I pair this with like tiny little white socks, little. Wow, literally they're called tiny. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll go with the tiny ones. The ones before were better. Um. Hold on. Flats. Uh, which ones did I put on? Did I, these ones, do you mean? These little ones? Actually, I, I don't mind these. Yeah, this works. Okay, let's go with these. Um, for this outfit, I don't mind changing her hair up and even making it straight. Um, I think it might be nice to do a different hairstyle. So, maybe we go for one with like a headband or something. Yeah, <laughs> Livy, you literally said the same thing as me. Um, oh, okay, I'm pretty sure this hair actually comes with a hairband. So let me just get it up. This is by Ahoob again, right? Yep, Ahoob. Right, Ahoob has a matching headband to this hair, like that. And we go for it in pink, maybe? Guys, what do we think? <laughs> what do we think? Look how cute she looks going to her little parties. <laughs> um, thank you, uh, Felicia, with the follow. Thank you so much, sweetie. Cute, yeah. All right, and then for this one, I'll let her wear a little bit of um, lip gloss as well. Um, we'll go for this and we'll just turn it down a little bit. There we go. Cute. I think she looks so sweet. Aww. <laughs> Do you have a favorite sim of all time that you've made? All of them are so unique. <sighs> no, I don't think so. I think I used to, but the more that I play and sort of look back on my previous sims, the more I just appreciate that all of my sims, like I used to think, which I, I still kind of do, that all of my sims look slightly similar. However, I also think that um, my, a lot of my sims do look different. So I'm kind of happy with that. I feel like as I'm getting older, I'm kind of coming to the conclusion like, okay, I'm happy with my Sims. <laughs> if there's one thing that I can be happy with in this life it is, it is my Sims. Um, I really like this, um, I really like this swimsuit, but is it too much for a 14 to 15 year old? I love it how we're just increasing the age just so that <laughs> it might be a bit much, maybe. Maybe we should do a little bit more covered. Maybe that one, that one's cute too. Yeah, I think I think um, my Sims have a different style, but they definitely look like unique. Like their um, their facial features and their body shapes. I think they're all unique, which I like. Yeah, this one's cute. Okay, let's let let's let her keep this one then. Um, ooh, since she's um since she's really into fitness, do you think we could sign her up for some sort of like swimming? What would she do if she's in fitness? We could have her do like um, cheerleading or swimming. I don't know which one we should have her do. Um, for this, she'll definitely wear her hair up though. I think your Sims are super unique. Aw, thank you guys. You're all so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you guys think so. Oh, that's cute. Up in a little bun like that. Tennis and horseback riding kind of go to me. Um, oh, I don't know which. I kind of want it pulled back. I see her being a cheerleader, forcing Reese to be like a footballer, but he's really into chess and confusing. Um, I would also agree. However, um, Reese, I'm pretty sure he has quite a lot of self confidence. So I wouldn't even put it past Reese to like just go into whatever he wants anyways. Like even though his sister suggests that he should go into something else. Um, he's also like kind of assured in himself, which is, I think is nice actually. Um, but yeah, I think he can sort of decide what he wants to do. Um, although I think his sister would try and convince him <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> and be like, you don't want to be in that group. That's a bunch of nerds. You don't want to be like with those people. And just, it, I, could, I feel like he'd be like, but... But I like these guys. These are my friends, you know, like. <laughs> um, ooh, I don't know which hair to go for. Maybe that one. Oh, that one's nice. 
She'd be like going to football and he simply says, I will not. <laughs> yeah. Because um, in Growing Together, Sims have got like confidence levels as well. So wait, did she just get taller? Why did she... Oh, the shoes. I was like, why did she randomly get taller? I was so confused. Okay. Hot weather whale. Um, she is 14. Got to keep bearing that in mind. It's very difficult to like dress a 14 year old. <laughs> Oh, braids. Wait, I kind of like the idea of the braids. Hold on. Didn't we try braids on her earlier? And then we said yes. Oh, wait. Ooh, this is cute. Maybe we go in one long braid. What do you guys think? The one long braid is cute. Wait, shoes can make Sims taller? Yeah, some of the Madeleine um, shoes do. Yes, perfect. Okay, this one can stay then. <laughs> okay, so, um... Hot weather well. I think we go with shorts or a skirt. <gasps> Storyteller with the snacky time. Guys, you know what that means? Go and grab your snacks. Come back. Let me know what you grabbed. Um, I want to know. Let me know. Let me know. What do we think about these shorts? And we pair it with a kind of like cutesy tino top <laughs> i'm literally making this up as i go along <laughs> what channel of music is this this is instrumental pop music tino top i mean like <laughs> i don't know what teenagers wear guys i don't know um the music just got strange, actually. Speaking of music. <laughs> oh, wait, I know this song. I know this song. Okay, I've got the idea now. <laughs> okay, what do we pair this with? Okay, these are not Tino tops. These are way above your age grade. Okay, baby, you can't wear these. These two. No. I think you might have to do the rest of the makeovers off stream. Oh my God, are we nearly at two hours already? What is wrong with me? Why do I take so long? What's wrong with me? <laughs> oh, what about this? This is cute. I say as I pick up speed. <laughs> this is cute. I kind of like the pink and the yellow. I'm gonna have to go, I have to get up in six hours. Don't worry, Naomi, don't worry. You can watch the rest of it after work if you have some time. You don't have to worry about it. It's okay, it took me five hours to make a family once in Cass. I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> Damn it. I think we might be all okay with a five hour stream. Oh wait, this is a cute top. Wait, I like this top. Um, does it come in any sort of green patterns? That's cute. Guys, what do we think? Or oh, maybe this one in green? <gasps> Wait, this is very teenish. This is very teenish. This is Scooby-Doo. That says Scooby-Doo on it. Maybe the one with the little pixie on it. And then we pair it with some sandals. I know, I could spend so long in Cass. I know that quite a lot of people don't like Cass and they find it boring. And honestly, I could understand if I was watching myself in Cass, I'd probably like lose my mind um, because I'm such an indecisive person. It must be so infuriating to watch me specifically in Cass, but I enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let, me, let me enjoy myself, okay? <laughs> uh, I don't know what flip-flops to give her. She can have more than one outfit. Baby, if we s did more than one outfit for her, we might be here all day. As much as I would love that, okay? Like, seriously, I would, but... <laughs> we might all go grey by the time that I finish. <laughs> yeah, don't suggest that. Like, don't... <laughs> you don't want that for yourself. Okay, maybe we go with these. Just because... You can't see that they're like overlaid with the shorts. The shorts are kind of bugging, but it's fine. Um, classic with the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. I 
I switched back to G Shade yesterday ever since that controversy. G Shade, I love it. <laughs> I, I hate the fact that they got themselves in so much controversy because I was so for G Shade. Um, but I'm still using G Shade regardless. <laughs> controversy or not, you know? <gasps> that is cute. Ooh, okay, guys, what hair do I go for? Ooh, that one's cute. Maybe we go for that one. What controversies? Wait, she's got big ears. No, she doesn't, does she? No, I don't think so. I don't think they're big. Um. So the controversies, the con controversial, the controversy. What is wrong with me? Why can't I say it? Let's just move on. There were controversial things about G Shade. G Shade implemented malware into their software. So if you updated. Basically, um, G Shade had the possibility to um, basically turn your computer off and sort of manipulate things that your computer did and whatever else, um, which basically technically counted it as malware. Um, but it, it could do that um, if you tried to edit the code of it or something. There, I can't remember the exact uh, specifics of it. But it's basically like it could it could turn your computer off and like restart it and it could do things to it that people didn't want. And obviously when everyone heard it, everyone was like, ew, like what the hell, G-Shade. And so everyone stopped using G-Shade, um, me included, because I didn't want you, I didn't want to like promote G-Shade and I didn't want you guys using it if it could do bad things. However, um, well, they fixed it and I'm back. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. <laughs> Thank you so much for the Prime sub for five months. Thank you, thank you. Um, guys, can we get some love in the chat for Cassie, please? I don't know about the hat. Yeah, I don't know. I wanna, I want her to wear a hat. Maybe, maybe sunglasses. Maybe sunglasses. What do we think? Is it is fourteen too young for sunglasses? I think I had a pair of sunglasses when I was fourteen. I've got a video coming on how I install um, G Shade. It might be coming out tomorrow or it might be coming out the day after, um, but I'm in the process of working on it. Yeah, I was thinking sunglasses on top of the head too, but I don't think I've really got any. I've got this one. Woo. Okay, they're kind of cool. They are kind of cool. All right, I kind of like those. What do we think? Why would 14 be too young? <laughs> I don't know. You can wear sunglasses at the age of like two, technically speaking. But you know what I mean, right? Like, would your parents buy you sunglasses at that age? But her parents are like well off. So I, I don't really think this applies here. Um, Iconic with the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. It's like saying if we're not paying for it, we are the product. So... <laughs> Have you ever thought about doing the Decade Challenge? I have been asked that quite a few times, which don't get me wrong, love the look of the Decade Challenge. However, it seems like way too much work for me personally, um, which I do not need any help in um, not being able to finish anything in my life. <laughs> so um, I just don't think I should do that. <laughs> Like, I've seen people do it and honestly, it looks so cool, but I just think it's best for me not to do it. Like, it would probably take me 50,000 years just to download the CC for it. So don't even get me started, really. I think it's one of those things that's like nice to watch other people play, but don't get me started because <laughs> I won't stop. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I like that. Maybe this with like slightly lighter trousers and then some shoes. Yeah, I feel like it's a lot of effort to set up. I feel like it's more effort to set up than any other series. Starts the joy of life. I have 35 gen legacy. This is what I'm saying. I have a severe habit of biting off more than I can chew. So I really don't think I should be starting anything else. Oh, these are kind of cute. Guys. What do we think? Maybe these? These come in like a pink or something? 
I love it how you call them trousers. I probably should call them jeans, shouldn't I? Hmm. British. <laughs> um, Jessot with the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. <laughs> Yeah, you'd have to change all of the outfits for all the Sims. Don't even get me started on changing every single townie's outfits. Like, I already have to stop myself now, so. Yeah, it sounds better than pants. For me, whenever I hear pants, I always think of, like, men's, like, pants. Like, not boxers, but the, the tight version of them. Do you guys call them briefs? Is that what they're, what are they called? We call them boxers. Um, the boxes are the baggier versions and then pants are like the tighter version, but I don't know what you guys call them. I can't think. We know how long you take it, Kaz. Look, okay. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> I know, I know. Reese needs some TLC, right? We should really stop with Charlotte. I love Charlotte so much, but I've spent way too long in here. Um, oh wait, her party wear, she doesn't have any, um, earrings on. So... Boxer briefs. I prefer pants. <laughs> I prefer pants. <laughs> okay, earrings. Um, oh, the cherries are kind of cute. Maybe we just go with like hoops or something. The tights we call pansy hose. Pansy hose? Tighty whities I thought that was like a thing to like make fun of them. I didn't think that was actually real. There's no way that's actually real. There's no way anyone's calling them tighty whities I I don't believe you. I actually don't believe you. <laughs> they sound so cute though. Pantyhose. <laughs> tighty whities <laughs> Tighty whities are underwear for me. Wait, <laughs> tighty whities is an actual thing. There's no way. There's no way. Tighty whitey, it's so funny. Such a funny word. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Right, we are done with Charlotte, guys. What do we think? I've given her two outfits. She's got this one and she's also got this one. Oh, she looks so good. <laughs> she looks so good. <laughs> Lord, finally. <laughs> Stop, okay? We could have been here longer. Honestly, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. We're gonna come off stream. In a few days time, I'm going to come back to the save and I'm just going to start giving them extra makeovers. Like, I'm just going to start giving them extra outfits. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Okay, it is time to move on to her brother, who I I think is going to need... Um, He's going to need some plastic surgery. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think he's going to need a little something. So let's just take a look. Jump scare, people ready, okay? <laughs> Reese, baby. <laughs> Also, Reese, um, for one, he needs smaller eyes. Um, but two, he needs the correct eyes on. So I am just gonna wait, didn't he have I think he had his dad's eyes, which I think were like a bright um green, like those. <laughs> Stop! It's the eyebrows. It's gotta be. It's gotta be the eyebrows. Let me give him different eyebrows. Do we go with like more realistic eyebrows for him? I don't know. Um just wait, okay? Just wait. We're here for makeovers, guys. Um, Just, he, why does he look so sad, though? Like, why is he like, like, why is his eyebrows so sad? <laughs> I don't understand, though. Why is he so sad looking? Okay, the eyebrows need to change shape because there's no way that those genetics can be passed on to children. That's just not acceptable. Um, hmm. Right, maybe. What is, what's wrong with his eyebrows? Is it the fact that they're sitting so low? I can't, 
can't tell what's wrong with them. Oh, okay. I think that was it. And then we can pull them down. I think that was it. Oh, there we go. We fixed them. There. See? Fixed. Okay. Right. I'm just going to make his lips a bit smaller too. Um, also because his... Um... Wait, guys. He's looking so much better. Honestly, I feel like he just needed eyebrows sorted. Like, that's that's it. Hi, Pom. I'm good, thank you. Thank you so much for the three months. Thank you, thank you. Okay, um, I am just going to load up the pictures of him when he was a baby or a kiddo. Um, just so we can see what skin details he had. Just so he matches. So, um, he had a no shader on. So, let's make sure that we give him that. I am just going to give him hair really quick. Um... Not like that. Um, I wasn't wasn't really thinking of that one, um, per se. <laughs> um, let's just go for. Oh, that one's kind of cute, actually. Why does it kind of look kind of cute with this one? Okay, hold on. Let's just. There we go. Right. Let's just work with this. <laughs> he had darker eyes. Did he? Oh, he has brown eyes here. No, no, but that they were wrong though. We don't actually know what colored eyes he has. Um, okay, so let's do, do I do a skin on him? Is he gonna look too old? Um, Cause if I want him to look like his dad, I'm gonna have to give him a skin. How did he go from like a a a good two to like a solid nine and a half? Like that that was all it took. It was the eyebrows and a skin. That was all it took. <laughs> from a zero to a seven. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe I maybe I overestimated a little bit. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, now we're cooking. Here we go. <laughs> okay, let's give him his eyelashes. Um, I'll go for these ones. Guys, 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 guys. Skins. Skins are magical. Let me, let me just tell you. Skins are perfection. Skins are beautiful. Skins are beautiful. Skins are beautiful. Okay, anyways, let's just make sure we get his CC, right? Um, so first one was a no shader. Second one, why does it keep swapping? Nose bridge. Um, okay, same nose bridge as his sister. He seems grumpy. <laughs> you getting grumpy vibes from him? Um where was his nose bridge? Bridge. Nose, 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 nose. That's nose tip. Where is the nose bridge overlay? The one that I'm looking for. Because he also had on a nose overlay. The same as his dad's. So he had the nose bridge somewhere else. <laughs> he went from nerd to jock. <laughs> um, Yeah, he needs the nose bridge somewhere else. Okay, hold on. What other nose overlay did he have? He has this nose mask. Third down on the right. Where is that one? This one? Third down on the right. Okay, so he has this nose on. He's giving everyone sucks type of team. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm looking for... Oh, there it is. Okay, Obscurious Nose Bridge. Wow, okay. Um, right. And he also had freckles on. He has on these freckles here and he has the third one at the top, which were at the bottom. These, third one. That was it, guys. That was all it took. It really was. That was all it took, guys. Okay, I'm going to give him um, a lip mask on as well, just to give him a little bit more definition to his lips, because this is a really nice skin, but it's sort of like, 
I don't know, chaps his lips out a little bit. I was getting scared. See, you just had to believe. Guys, if you can believe, you can go anywhere in life, okay? <laughs> when he's a young adult, oh my god. <laughs> All right, what do we think? Oh, actually, his dad has on certain sort of eye mask. I might give him the same eye mask as his dad. His dad has on the eye mask, the second one at the top. I might give him the same one just to have him looking sim more similar to his dad. Um, and then eye mask, second one. There we go. Okay, now he should be looking pretty similar to his family. <laughs> In Lauren, we trust. See, guys, I just needed you to believe me. That's all. <laughs> He's precious. Oh, now we've changed up. Well, guys, we've changed up quick, huh? One second ago, you were like, Reese, no one's going to love him. Reese needs help. Blah, 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 blah. Now we're like, oh, Reese needs to be protected at all costs. Reese is so good looking. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> you changed up on Reese real quick, huh? I told you not to judge. Did I or did I not? Did I or did I not tell you not to judge? I told you. I did. He's exactly like his dad. And I told you that he looked exactly like his dad. I hate to say it, but I told you so. Actually, I don't hate to say it. I love to say it. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to use this hairline. Let's go with... Yeah, that one. That one works. Oh, wait. No, actually, it comes down too long on the sides. This one? Yeah, that one will work. There we go. Perfect. Girl, I will never doubt again. All you doubters, you need to feel bad. <laughs> All you doubters who didn't believe, you didn't believe in the CC, okay? The power of it. <laughs> oh, we have some lower eyelids. These are cute. I don't know what this is doing though. What is this? Oh, this is kind of cute. Now we'll leave it. The freckles saved him, you think? Okay, so just as a little catch up for Reese, he is a paint. Well, he wants to be a painter extraordinaire. He's a muser. Um, so he wants to. Um, he wants to have his life be all about art and painting. He's also very open minded, which means he gets inspired quickly and he also is very creative. But he is also unflirty and he gets tense and he finds it difficult to be romantic. Um, so this poor boy is gonna, <laughs> he's gonna struggle. <laughs> Apologize, chat. Everyone that doubted Reese and, and me, okay, and me, because I'm out here. Hmm? Okay. I want you to say sorry. Yeah. I want you to say sorry. I want to see sorries in the chat for not believing. Apologize. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't checked his sexual orientation yet. I, w I will check in a second. I will check. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what to do for his hair. I knew he'd be snacky. Of course you did, Magical. <laughs> I don't know what to do for his hair. Oh my God. Wow. Why does he give... Why does he give kind of syrup? I like this one. Guys, I like that one. I don't know why, but I like it. But I don't know why, but I'd like it. It's it's artsy. It's artsy. I don't know why it's artsy. I don't want to keep it. I mean, honestly, like, boys kind of take after their dads. And if you've seen his dad, he had long hair for, like, his entire life until he got old. So I'm thinking this could work. <laughs> and Ducky, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. He looks really good. Yeah, I'm really liking the way that he's looking as well. So for his arty style, what do we go for? Do we go for like an avant-garde sort of style for him? What do we think, guys? <laughs> I'm very glad I didn't take after my dad. My forehead is big enough without <laughs> retracting it. No, 
not you just absolutely butchering your dad. <laughs> I think flannels and jeans. So let me see if I can find sort of any artsy sort of. I love this. Is it just me? Is it just me who loves this? Hold on, this with a pair of sort of more high-waisted jeans that don't leave his stomach hanging out. I like love this. I'm gonna find some jeans that work with it though. They need to be high-waisted. I wish it wasn't giving V-neck. Hold on, we need high jeans. Do we not have any? Too old? Oh, I forgot he's supposed to be 14. Kind of forgot about that, actually. Okay, right, back to it. Anyways, keep searching, because that's that's not going to work. <laughs> that's not going to work, since he's supposed to be younger. Hmm. Okay, have we got anything with sort of artsy stuff on it? Um. Okay. No. I'm not getting sort of any art styles from this. Maybe something like this? No? Oh my god, the f <laughs> Wait, hold on. Um, No, this one's not gonna work. He's giving 80s surfer dude. Yeah, he kind of is actually. Oh, I don't know what top to go for, guys. Also, we need to make sure he's suiting like 14 year old boy, which I think is also difficult. This could be cute. That's kind of cute. Guys, it kind of give it kind of gives like art, see? His chest is really big though. Hold on, I'm just gonna bring his chest in a bit. It's a bit a bit large. Yeah, does that work? Yes, okay. Pair this with some jeans. Hmm. What jeans do we go for? Do we go for skinnies or not? What were his traits? He is open-minded and unflirty and he wants to go into being an art extraordinaire. So I don't know if he's gonna go into like spray paints or painting murals or whether he's gonna go into actual like fine art. I'm not too sure yet. I think we'll we'll try him out in both and we'll see what he sort of prefers. Lots of pockets. <gasps> Wait, you're onto something here. Right, let me find something with pockets. I mean, that has lots of pockets, but not really what I had in mind for this outfit. Um, not skinny jeans, no. I think we have to go sort of baggy. Those are kind of cool though. Ugh, I wish we didn't have to go for them in black though, but they won't work in any other color. Hmm, maybe we go with a different top with these trousers. Yeah, he does have really big hands, doesn't he? <laughs> I didn't really think about that. Um. All right, we definitely need to still keep him looking his age, though. It was a nice top. Do I keep it? I have used it on a lot of Sims before, though. Like his arms are long too. It's probably because of the height slider mods. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like this. Guys, I kind of like this one. What do you think? Do you like this? I kind of like this top. I feel like it would work for him. <laughs> matchy matchy with Charlotte. You already know she's bought him this and forced him to wear it. Like... <laughs> That's kind of cool. Actually, this is kind of a cool outfit. Guys, what do you think of this outfit? This with a pair of like gray sort of shoes. I 
I like it. It's kind of like, it's kind of different, but I like it because it's different, you know? I like that. It's giving my sister dresses to me. <laughs> okay, when he gets older, he can sort of develop into his own style a little bit more, you know? <laughs> I really like him. I really do. Um, Ducky bro, thank you for the follow. Welcome in as well. Sorry that I missed that one earlier. Too preppy for him. He can change as he gets older. Again, I don't think their styles are going to be set in stone. I think they're going to change as he gets older. So, um, and also I, th I feel like I want to give him another outfit. That's kind of cool. This is kind of cool. Wait, I kind of really like this one. I like that one. Guys, what do we think? I feel like this could go super cool with something. Hmm. What do we pair this with? No, absolutely not. <laughs> not those. And then... What do we... Oh, I kind of like that. I wish those went with it, but they do not. Hmm. That works. Is it that clipping? Oh, they clip. Damn it. Wait. Does that go together? I feel like that kind of goes. Is it just me? I feel like that actually goes really well. I don't know. I kind of like it. I'm going to leave it. I don't know. We'll see if we like it. <laughs> Do you have vans? That would be cute. I don't know. Do I have vans? Yeah. Oh, these ones? Like that? I only have them in two different colours, though. I mean, I guess those would work still. Definitely not a nerd who's playing us. He's got so much confidence, you know? <laughs> Wait, I actually don't know if he's into girls, to be honest. Should we check? Oh, maybe these shoes. These are kind of cool. <gasps> Wait, I love these. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think we go with those in white. I really like those. I think they look kind of cool as well. Um, yeah, let's quickly go check if he's... Um, He's into girls or not. I don't know. <laughs> he, so the game has made it so that he's neutral popularity. So I think the game said he doesn't care about popularity. Um, and I think it says he's not popular. I think it says he's like indifferent or something. I don't know. Oh God, baby, Reese, where is your hair? Baby, where is your hair? Okay, put your other hair back on, please. Oh my goodness. Guys, oh my God, he looks like that guy out of Stranger Things. He looks like the guy out of Stranger Things. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> okay, so according to um, according to my LGBTQ mod, which automatically randomizes all of my Sims um, sexualities, which I kind of like. I like the fact that they're all randomized. So there's a chance that, you know, Sims that you maybe wouldn't normally put as being, you know, gay or bisexual or whatever, they end up being like that. However, um, nothing spicy about Reese. <laughs> He's very straight. He's allosexual. He identifies as a male. He's romantically and sexually attracted to feminine Sims. However, Bear in mind, he's also on flirty, so he gets tense around um, flirty sims, and he also would find it difficult to be romantic in public. However, that doesn't mean that he can't be romantic with somebody privately. It might be a thing where he struggles to be romantic in front of people. I don't know. I don't know why. I, we could probably work out a storyline for that. Um, it also says that he's not popular or unpopular. So the majority of Sims go through high school somewhere in the middle of the uh, neutral and Reese joins their ranks. So he's not popular or unpopular. He's sort of in between. Um, he's also part of the nerd brains, which is a social group that values intellectual curiosity and embraces geek culture. He's such a nerd. I, we knew it. We knew him. He also um, will develop his logic and rocket science skills quickly. Um... And he's a little bit mischievous as well. Um, but that's all it says so far. Is there anything else I need to know? 
Um, that's it. Okay, what about um Charlotte really quick? So for Charlotte, she got put in the rebel rousers, which means that um they get together or don't get together and do what they want. Who cares? What are you gonna do about it? I don't know if I want her in rebel rousers just yet. I don't know. I might end up changing that for her. I'm not sure. Um, but for her, she has high self-esteem. So what's interesting, Reese didn't get high self-esteem. Only Charlotte got that. But it means that she becomes confident easily when gaining a skill or success at work. And they're less likely to develop a fear of failure. Um, she's also... Um, uh, where did it go? Where was her popularity stuff? Wait, where is... Um, oh, it says she's not unpopular or popular. I guess she sort of starts off in the middle because she just started high school. So she doesn't get to be popular yet. I'm guessing that's why. So she's not popular or unpopular right now. Is Reese allosexual or asexual? Mm, allosexual. He can experience sexual attraction. And he's also alloromantic. So I don't know why he's unpleasant. I'm not sure. Okay, really quick. I'm just going to copy over all of his... Um, all of his accessories, hair, and accessories. There we go. What do you do? How do you randomize these traits? Wait, what traits do you mean? Do you mean the, the LGBTQ mod? Like their sexualities? Is that what you meant? Hi, Kyra. So, I'm sorry I'm late. That's okay. Do you know when this stream will be posted? It will be posted tomorrow um, evening. So all the streams get posted the day after. Obviously, I've taken them off of VODs um, on Twitch because Twitch has just been an absolute bloody nightmare with Twitch VODs and people are struggling to go back and watch the series. So it's just easy if I just remove the Twitch VODs and just upload them as YouTube videos. Um, so they're all going up on my second YouTube channel in full. And then when they're edited, they'll go up on my main channel. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, they discover traits about themselves as you play with the LGBTQ mod. Oh, so we could end up changing. Oh, I didn't know that. I've, um, I've only like done it manually so that my Sims have changed. Like if I had a storyline idea, but I didn't know that Sims could naturally change their sexuality, which does make sense to be fair, but I didn't know that. That's actually interesting. Oh my, okay guys, I'm just going to put on my glasses because I'm reading the chat and it's like all blurring into one. I don't know if it's because I've been staring at a screen like the entire day today, but I cannot see the chat right now. It's like all the words are just blurring together. I can't even read anything. <laughs> I don't know if I've been just been, oh God, I don't know if I've just been staring at something for too long. Hold on. I've got so much like finger marks all over my glasses. Um, there. All right, I can see. Is that better? Oh, there we go. Okay, I can see again. I think my eyes were like over focusing. I don't know. Um, can Reese be a writer? I love that. He is creative. So to be fair, we don't necessarily have to go down the route of painting or, you know, things like that. Um, we could go down the sort of like more writing route it could be a possibility i don't know right now um i think we'll see it like it when he's doing something if he likes it right now it says um he likes spooky music from halloween um he also likes emotional decision makers spirited sims small talk silly behavior and he likes affection you know what that's really weird that is really weird that he likes affection so it says whether it's friendly or romantic, showing affection is an expression of adoration against another sim. Um, hmm. Okay, that's kind of interesting. So maybe he's unflirty, but he's just unflirty in front of other people. It might be that he like wants to keep his relationship more private. I don't know. I'm not sure. All right, I do need to give him a formal outfit. This will be um, an outfit that he wears to like family dinners and that sort of stuff. So... Let's see. I don't want to. I don't want to re-roll them. I like the open-minded because that means that he gets inspired. I don't know. I think we can work with it. I think we can work with it. We can run a poll if you guys want. Um, so you guys can decide if you want to re-roll his traits. And then that way you guys get to decide. What do you think? Should we run a poll to let you guys decide? Then we just go with the majority vote. Oh, this is kind of cute. I like that.
Yeah, I mean, it could mean that he's like, he struggles with like PDA, but he he can be a romantic person, but like in the public of his own home. It just means he's kind of unflirty and he struggles in public, you know, um, in public spaces. Um, Just trying to figure out what to dress him in as well. I think we might go for that. Maybe he likes receiving affection and not giving it. It could be that. It could be that. I don't know. I don't know. We, we, I think we need to play with him a little bit more. Um, and then we can sort of get an idea as well. Hmm. Okay, that works. I feel like maybe he would feel a little bit awkward. Maybe he's having, having some inner turmoil. He's all over the place like me. It could be that he's, I don't know. It could be that he's struggling with his sexuality like later on in life. That's an option. I'm flirty AF, but I'm married. See, it does, it definitely happens where, you know, like even people that are unflirty in life, they can quite easily be straight and also married and in a completely romantic relationship. However, just in general, they're unflirty, you know? So, um, yeah, I don't think that it's, I don't know. Unflirty to me sounds like a person who doesn't know how to flirt or approach others, actually. It could be. Yeah, it could be that case as well. Um, all right, so this is his athletic wear. I don't know if we're going to see that. <laughs> um, I don't know if we're going to see him in this that much, um, but we will see. <laughs> Does he have a hair overlay as well? No, this is his, um, this is his default hair color. This is what he had already. Lauren, I'm getting horse ranch series withdrawals. I haven't felt like playing horse ranch in a long while. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have not felt it. Maybe it's because in general, I'm just not really into like the horse ranch sort of gameplay that much. But I don't know. I'm not really, I don't really feeling playing horse ranch. Um, I might go back to it if I, you know, if I feel like it. But for now, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I don't want to force it and then sort of not enjoy it. I was thinking the LGBTQ mod, but it's okay for everyone to keep it. I think um, I think we'll leave it for now. It's still a possibility that his like um, sexuality will change um, over time. Um, but I kind of like keeping my sim sexuality like whatever they get randomized with. And then if it changes over time, that's great. But like, you know, they just get given what they get given. That's just kind of the, the way that the world works, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I think we just sort of let him follow his own path. If he decides at a later date that, um, you know, he's not he's not into women anymore, then that's still an option. <laughs> okay, so change my mind. There's a ton of episodes for me to watch to catch up on. So I'll just start watching here instead. <laughs> I love being on the stream. So I'll just say, wait, Wormy, was you, was you going to go back and watch all the episodes back? Um... Each episode is around 30 to 40 minutes. And I think there's about 20 episodes out so far. So if you've got time, you can go back and watch those. <laughs> Thanks, baby. What's that? No, I'm good. <laughs> I love that outfit. Okay, right. This one can stay then. This is his, um, his athletic wear. Actually, for this one, I might pull his hair back since this is his... This is his athletic wear. So this is when he's exercising. Um, so have we got anything that's sort of pulled back into like little, little pony? Hmm. Um. Mm -mm -mm. This hair, oh my God. <laughs> Wait, we do have this one. That's, his, that's the same hair that his dad has though. But you know what? I think it's fine since it's only one outfit. I don't mind it that much. And I'm changing his dad's hair soon anyway, so. Would Neve and Emiliano be okay with LGBT? Um, so my sims also get randomized whether they've got phobias or sort of fears as well. So um, I think both Emiliano and Neve are like, fine with lgbtq i don't think they would have any issue with their with their kids you know 
having any sexuality. I think they'll love them regardless. Um, but there is a possibility that sometimes my Sims will get randomized with like a phobia. And then if their child was, <laughs> if their child was, then uh, that, that would cause some issues, I think. <laughs> it would really spice up the family dynamic. <laughs> All right, so this is his sleep well. Um, also, he's 14. I need to I need to make sure I remember this for their outfits. I keep forgetting. Um, what do I dress him in? What would a 14-year-old wear to sleep? Maybe just boxes. The boxes are fine, I think. Maybe boxes and a shirt. Oh yeah, Neve is pansexual. Actually. Neve's got no right to have any judgment because she's pansexual anyway, so. <laughs> t-shirt and boxes. All right, let me get a t-shirt too. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> um, hmm. Do we go with long sleeved? Oh, I actually kind of like the long sleeved. Okay, let's go with that. That's nice. I like that. Right, party wear. Let's do... Hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, she got randomized at the start of the series, actually. Um, mm -mm. This is his party wear, right? So 14-year-old parties. Um... Oh, this is kind of cool. I like this. Maybe like that. That's kind of cool. Emilio with the pan wife energy. <laughs> How do you randomize the LGBTQIA mod for The Sims? You've got to go into the settings of the mod. And from there, you can select that you want the mod to randomize. Um, ooh, why do I like that? Guys, does anyone else like that? Before I decide on it. I don't know why. I really like, I really like how casual it is. Maybe I should do a bit more for party though. I probably should. Yeah, it kind of is, but I kind of see it as like an everyday wear. Like his his everyday is more. He's actually kind of cool. He's kind of cool. <laughs> um. Okay, maybe we do a different top. Yeah, we do a different top. I like the top, but I don't think it works. Um. Hmm. I love this family. Me too. It's one of my one of my absolute favorites. There's some times when I'm like, I think because in whimsy stories it gets really stressful, um, especially since like Leaf is the only one earning any money. <laughs> but there will never be a time when I load up like Joy of Life and I'm like, well, obviously I'm stressed, but <laughs> there's never a time when I don't want to load up Joy of Life. Like regardless of what's going on in this family, I always love to play with them. So. I love that. Oh, this. I like this for him. What do we pair it with? Wait, what was his favorite colors again? Um, what did he wear as a kid? Oh, he wore like he wore like a blue sort of color. Eh, it's not gonna work with his outfit though. Will you upload them to the gallery? Yes. So I don't like uploading my Sims until like after I'm done with them. Oh, I like the orange. Um, yeah, sorry. I don't like uploading my Sims until after I'm done with them. So when I'm done with um, when I'm done with this family, I will upload them. Mm. What do we think? Does it work? Are you going to play with them today? No, no gameplay today. I've already been live for like two and a half hours and I haven't even finished the makeovers. Um, I don't like doing cast streams and gameplay in the same stream, especially if I spend the majority of it in casts. Um, I'd rather just do like a separate stream for gameplay. I like the green more. Ooh, I like the dark green. Okay, dark green can stay. It's fine. <laughs> um, 
Okay, swimwear. Oh my God, what are you wearing? <laughs> what is this? No, this is not gonna work. Oh, we can use the new swim trunks that come with the new pack. Um, I haven't used these yet. Oh, they're kind of cool. I like those, they work. Oh, actually, I'm gonna give him the lean body overlay as well, since he's, um, does he have his shirt off for any other outfits? Because I will give him that if he does. No, that's it, okay. Oh, longer ones for 14. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I've seen like 14 year olds wear something similar to this, like the shorter ones. Especially at like a pool or something. <laughs> Him awkwardly covering his body with a loose tank top. Wait, I kind of like the idea of that. Maybe we do give him the little loose tank top. Maybe we give him that. Lauren, are we going to get to meet Enzo and Tommy's uh, and Tommy's kid? Yes, we will. We will get to. Um, especially since the wedding is coming up. So we're going to have to go and get all the family together, give them makeovers, choose who's coming to the wedding, give them makeovers. It's going to be, it's going to be a lot. <laughs> trying to keep the girls from hitting on him. Look, I'm trying to save him, okay? <laughs> okay, this is hot weather wear. I actually don't mind that top. This top would be fine with a pair of shorts. Um, oh, damn. I wish the shorts sat higher, though. Um, all right. We'll go with a lower down top. <laughs> sorry. Someone just said that they sat through eight ads. I love it how I'm hysterically laughing. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just the fact that Twitch goes absolutely wild and gives so many people ads. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Um, oh, I might just go for the yellow one, to be honest. Where'd you get your CC? Um, I have loads of videos on my channel about all the CC that I use. So you're more than welcome to check those videos out. Um, I get them from loads of different places, so you can check them all. I had 10? No. Really? Twitch out here? Yeah, Twitch really twitching. <laughs> Mm. Maybe we just go for them in the black. Yeah, I've heard that. Some people that are not even sub don't even get ads, um, which is kind of weird as well. I don't know. Sometimes Twitch goes wild with ads. Sometimes there's no ads. Um, I don't know. It literally changes all the time. Trying to decide if I want to go alpha for clothes. I keep reusing the same Maxis Match clothes for all my Sims. Um, you can do something similar to what I do where I go alpha and Maxis for clothes. It's a really good combination. Um, oh, you're not sort of locked down to only using Maxis. It is very difficult to find um, CC especially that is only Maxis. I would definitely recommend uh, going for both. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, we might go for that for cold weather wear. Pair it with something else. How long have we been doing makeovers? That entire stream, baby. We've been here all night. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Literally the entire night. The entire night. <laughs> Question, do you, envision, do you envision your Sims as British as well? Never. No, I never envision any of my Sims as British. Most of my Sims I envision as, um, the, like, if they're from a specific world in Sims, obviously all the worlds are themed after certain places. So if my Sims are from, like, uh, Mount Komorebi, I kind of imagine them being themed after, you know, like, places where Mount Komorebi is um, based off of. The same as if my Sims are from Hempford on Bagley, I do imagine them being from the UK um, or British, but definitely further up north because... 
um, the, the Hemford on Bagley that you guys see in the game is like, obviously it's the same with America, right? Like each state is different in the UK. Every part of the UK is different. Like the North, um, the South, obviously I live down the South. Um, so it's a lot more, uh, um, it's a lot less rural. Um, whereas the North is more rural, like Hemford on Bagley. Okay, I won't do anything exciting <laughs> while you're gone. Oh, these work. Can I have these in sort of a darker? Uh, that works. I have tried going back to some alpha hairs. Um, the only reason why I don't use alpha hairs in game and why I wouldn't even mix them is one reason. Okay, two technically. One is because... Um, one is because um, I don't like my Sims not having matching hair. You know, like obviously this is very Maxis. So pairing this up with a non-Maxis hair kind of looks a bit strange. You know, the Sims stand out. But the main reason is because I use a shader called MXAO. So with this cast shader, as you can see, it gives my Sims loads of shadows. They look so much better. But MXAO doesn't actually work correctly on alpha hairs. Um, and I don't want to have to turn my MXAO off and I will accept nothing, okay? I will not turn my MXAO off. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> because I'm putting up a fight against it, I guess. Uh, what shoes did he have on? Oh, he did have these shoes on. Okay. But yeah, the, the hair doesn't work correctly. In fact, um, I might even have a sim to show you guys. Um who I made recently with an alpha hair, but I didn't like because the alpha hair didn't work. Where was she? Did I take a picture of her? Did I take a screenshot of her? Damn it, I don't think I did. Mm, I didn't. Or if I did, I deleted it. Oh no, there she is. Here she is. Okay, so you see here, this isn't even with the MXAO on strong. It like it looks um, worse in game. In cast, you get away with it a bit more. But can you see? She has like lines of black in her hair along her shoulders back here. And this is when I had my MXAO turned like right down. Um, so it, it gets worse the higher you've got it. But you can kind of see the, the top is fine. But the, it has like sort of black edges. That's because technically with um, alpha hair, it's transparent. So um, you can see shadows through it. Um, but yeah, this is a sim I made recently. <laughs> I was just playing around. I I downloaded this new hair by Nightcrawler and I was like, yes, I need to try it. So I just went in and made the sim um, just to try this hair on her. But yeah. Um, oh, look, look at Leafy. Yeah, it's Leafy. Sorry, <laughs> distracted. Yeah, alpha hair is not it anymore. I still appreciate alpha hair. Alpha hair is is beautiful still. There's so many nice alpha hairs, but it doesn't work for the shaders that I use now. And obviously my sim styles have evolved, you know, as I've, um, <laughs> as I've gotten older, my, my sim style has also evolved with me. So. Oh, she's, she's, um, I say, oh, she's no one. Um, she's just a random sim that I made just to try on that hair. So. I love your style now. Okay, guys, be honest. Do you prefer my style of Sims now that I use Maxis and Alpha? Obviously Maxis specifically for hairs, but Alpha for everything else too. Um, or do you prefer when I used to make Alpha Sims? What do you think? Be honest. If you prefer my Alpha Sims, just say it. Just say it. I won't be upset. <laughs> yeah. Now is much better. Most of you guys have said now. Did anyone say before? Your Sims are so good now, so realistic. As a Max's girl, I preferred the Alpha because they were more snatched. I can see that. You're the one who turned me Maxis. <laughs> but they are beautiful now and realistic. I loved both. Before, we have a before. <laughs> I loved your style during Snowy Escape, not gonna lie. Hold on. Where were my snowy escape sims? I don't even know what they look like. Um, I've definitely got them saved on here shortly. Were they alpha or were they... Were they alpha then? I must have been alpha. Ba oh, I must have been alpha back then. 
They were alpha. I actually don't even remember what those sims look like. Hmm. Okay, I remember. So my high school years LP was when I started going Maxis, I think. So here, I think I've just started going Maxis. Uh, Maxis here. Yes, Maxis, Maxis. I was Maxis here. These are some of the first sims that I made as Maxis, actually. Yeah, I like the fact that Maxis matches the game, too. Okay, how long ago was Snowy Escape? Holy crap. Oh, okay, hold on. I found some alpha sims that I made. Friends. Friends. Who are these people? This was ages ago, guys. <laughs> oh my god, Cottage Living! Do you guys remember these icons? Oh, loved Sylvie. One of my favourite alpha sims was Sylvie. She was... She was one of my favourites. <gasps> Winnie! Oh my god! Oh yes, Harrison. The king himself. Yep. I remember Harrison. So this was like peak alpha era, you know? That was good. You guys remember Sylvie? Oh, and the classic Nikita song. Do you remember Do you remember Nikita? If you guys were around for Legacy Stories, remember that one? Okay, I'm trying to go back to find my story escape and I'm getting distracted again. Mm. Okay, Snowy Escape just must have been ages ago because I'm literally not even seeing any sims that I even used for the series in here. So they must have been... Oh my god, they're here! Oh, okay. Oh, I kind of get you. I kind of get you. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of popped off. I kind of popped off here. These sims are pretty cute. <laughs> you know what? I would love to go back and give these sims a Maxis Match makeover now, though. Just imagine how good that would be. We should do that, actually. I might make a YouTube video on it, going back and giving my my first Sims makeover or like my famous townies makeovers. <laughs> yeah, would you guys like that? I might do that as a YouTube video. You know what? I'm adding it. I'm adding it to my list. I've got a list of all the videos that I have in mind that I will want to work on. I'm just gonna, just gonna add that to the list. <laughs> um, what is it? Make giving makeovers to my alpha sims there we go i'd have to think of an actual decent title for it but yeah that sounds fun i agree we should do that <laughs> yeah i'll probably do it as a youtube video instead of on stream because i've got obviously loads of things to do on stream my makeovers i kind of want to keep them for like my series and obviously the towny makeovers so i would i think i'd do that as like a separate youtube video Plus, you know, YouTube's got to have some stuff too. <laughs> I can't do everything on Twitch, right? <laughs> um, oh, I just saw a jacket that I thought would be kind of nice for him. Where did it go? It was by KK Sims, actually. Get rid of Cold Weatherwell. Claire Siobhan called hers Old Sims New CC. Hmm, what could I call it? Yeah, this was just a makeover stream. If you guys um, haven't been here for the entire stream, you do not need to worry. Um, we're just... Oh, that's kind of cool. That The texture of this coat looks so high quality, though. Oh, not the gradient, though. It's kind of cool. Oh, I actually... You know what? I actually kind of like that. Call it a walk down Aussie Lane. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Right, guys, I think we are done. I think we are done with the kiddos makeovers. I still technically need to give Neve and, you know, Emiliano a makeover. However, they're not the priority because we don't really want to do too much with Neve because obviously she's getting married. We did say we want to cut her hair, but only after the wedding. We've tried this hair on her and we've literally loved it. Like, look at this hair. Look at our baby. Look at her. Look at our baby, guys. Look at our baby. So eventually we will give her this hair. But for now, we're going to leave her hair. Um, I don't mind leaving her outfits either. We will change those up after the wedding. I feel like we'll just do a whole makeover for her after the wedding. Um, so I think we'll leave it because obviously right now we need to focus on the wedding stuff. So, um, yeah, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. I think I'm loving all of the Sims. Literally love them so much. 
honestly, okay, don't get me wrong. I love, hold on, I'm just gonna, just gonna, yeah, bump out the waist a little bit. Um, I love Charlotte, but is it wrong that I prefer Reese? I don't know why. I think it's his personality with his makeover that we just gave him, but I think I might actually prefer him. I think, I think I might prefer him. <laughs> I don't know. There's something about him that I think I like more. I don't know why. <laughs> it's okay if you. It's okay if you guys. Um, you know, if you guys prefer Charlotte, but um, I don't know why. There's just something about Reese. I like his story. There's something interesting about him, and something that's not adding up with the whole, with the whole unflirtiness. I wanna. Well, not that it doesn't add up, but I wanna know why he's unflirty. Like, is there a reason for that? Like, you know, did he have sort of social anxiety growing up? I don't know. I did, I knew his potential. I mean, the, the funny thing is, I've already aged all these sims up and given them makeovers, like, before. So I already knew what they were gonna look like. <laughs> so like, when you guys were like, wow, look how bad they look. And I'm like, babes, like, give me a minute. Like, <laughs> I haven't CC makeovered them yet. Like, come on. <laughs> but yeah, I know, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so if we get a little, um, little look at how they look um let me just get them dressed i'll get reese dressed as well you know what i actually prefer this outfit on reese i think he looks so cool in it he kind of looks maybe he looks a bit too cool for him um it's the trauma from knee's brothers in <laughs> wait it's the trauma from knee's brother-in-law's affair to be honest wait i love that Okay, and then you turn to face us. Go here. Okay, can you guys just look at me? Can you guys just, just look at look here? <sighs> okay, whatever. Right, here is Charlotte in game, guys. Here is what she's looking like. She, she looks so cute here, actually. She looks so much like Neve. What the hell? Um, so Neve's looking like this. And then we've got Reese, who's like, baby, I'm going to bed right now. He... He gives me such Stranger Things vibes. Is it just me? Anybody else? I get Stranger Things from him. Like 100%. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we did a we did a longer stream today. And to be fair, I started really late and it's nearly like it is quarter past twelve where I am. So I need to be going to bed like ace. <laughs> but yeah, I love them. I'm not gonna lie. My preference is towards Reese. My preference is towards Reese, but I just think he's really sweet looking. I don't know. He's got so much personality in his makeover. I, I really like him now. Um, not that I didn't like him before. Sorry, that sounded so bad. Um, but yeah, I think he looks really good. I just think he's got so much personality. I'm excited to find out more about him in the next episode of Joy of Life, which is going to be live on Sunday this week. So if you guys are around on Sunday... Um, um, I think what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to move my evening streams to be a bit later um, because I need time to make dinner for my family. And right now I'm just running out of time. I keep being late for streams. So I'd rather be late, but on purposely late. Does that make sense? Um, so I'm probably going to move my streams anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, it, um, I'm going to be live again, not tomorrow, but I'm live again on Wednesday and Thursday. On Wednesday, we're playing the Whimsy Stories Challenge. On Thursday, we're giving townie makeovers. I need to plan which townies we're going to give makeovers to on Thursday. I'm going to post a YouTube poll. And then on Sunday, we're back again for the gameplay episode of Joy of Life. So thank you guys very, very much for joining me today. I appreciate you guys sitting with me. I hope you enjoyed the makeovers. I'm sorry it took me so long. Honestly, like really, what did you expect? This is why I actually dedicate an entire next stream to like makeovers because I can't do it. I can't do it all at once, okay? I just, I have problems. So, <laughs> um, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video as well. If you guys did, remember to go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe down below if you are new and I will speak to you in the next episode. Bye guys.